Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna be, I'm going to be showing you how to install soil mod on a map. I tried this before with the wrong settings and it didn't work. So as you can see we've got Bjorn Home mod map here in a folder that I literally made just for the tutorial. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to back it up, move to the backup folder that I created and just hit copy here. And it'll take a few seconds to just copy in. It'll copy the entire zip folder. Won't make any changes. Um, I will say I have already done this, and I do have Farm Sim ready to go to show you the end result. As in one of those, and here's one that I created earlier um, situations. So just need to wait for that to work out. It'll take t about ten seconds, apparently. Um, it will, won't ever take as long as it says, <laughs> well, from my experience. Okay, so that's that done. And the next thing you did need to do, the very heart of it, is you need to extract the actual map itself. Now I'm using uh, WinZip, WinRAR, I believe. Uh, I actually have 7-Zip as well. And I'll be using 7-Zip later on for... Um, Actually, in a, in a moment, I'll be using 7-Zip. So I'm just using WinRAR at the moment to unpack the map. And this will take slightly longer than um, backing up the map because it has to unpack it and bring every single file up to its normal size. Now, this is something that you only ever do if you want to edit a map. And you always, 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 110% of the time, create a backup just in case you screw up. Because when I was preparing stuff... I did screw up, and I had to revert to my backup. Um, and I do have backups of the other maps that I've edited to have soil mod as well. So I'm just waiting now for this to unpack. It was <laughs> yep. There we go. So it's unpacked, so you just open up. And you open up... Uh, you open up the map folder here. And you go into 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever you need. And you will see... Whoops. Went back one layer. This is soil mod in its fully zipped up form. You do not have to unzip it. You can just use WinRAR or 7-zip to have the fully zipped up file. What you need to do is you need to open up the requirements for your map i3d. Grab the FMC soil management folder and just copy it into the copy it into the map folder and you can see it's here under chop straw chop straw will not affect soil management um it actually soil management has com some coding that allows for chop uh, chop straw to be used so that's not a problem so what you need to do next is you need to open up your map i3d file with notepad plus plus and this is it massive mess as you can see and you also need to open the map instructions.txt, which I believe I already open. Yes. So the very first thing you do is you look at your files, file, file ID. And you can see here, very, I must say, very clear instructions because I'm terrible at editing things and cannot code to save my life. So having these instructions here, very clear. So the first thing you need to do is these four files here. What I do is I just search... And this is an easy way to do it. You search for end of files, and it'll bring you right down to the bottom of the files. You'll be using the search function a lot, so Control F um, is always helpful. You just grab this, and you copy it, and you just oops, oops, just paste it in there like that. So that's all the soil management stuff in, all the files that are needed. Now, we go back to the instructions, and it says here you need to find the shader slash fruit growth foliage shader.xml relative path. And you need to find the file ID. So what you do is, because I've forgotten already, it's fruit growth foliage shader. Okay, so what you do is you search for fruit growth foliage shader in the i3d and notepad plus plus is nice enough to highlight the entire line for me um oh that's on the screen thank god <laughs> somebody just signed into skype which i'm going to put on do not disturb so that, just in case so 
as you can see it's highlighted the entire line it's this line here so our ID is 46 so if we go back to notepad here and hit edit and replace and then we do fruit growth foliage shader underscore file ID we find that and we replace it with just to double check because it's always better to measure twice and cut once in this situation you replace it with 46 and you replace all so now we go down and this line is very helpful because it will tell you if you've done it right as you can see there it replaces 46 which was originally fruit growth foliage shader file ID next thing we need to do is find the windrow foliage shader file ID so once again we just look for windrow foliage shader and it's down here and it's file ID is 48 so we go back into notepad plus plus and you can just cheat a bit by deleting fruit growth and replacing it with one row and you're replacing 46 with 48 and then you just replace all and go down again to check if this line is correct and it is so this needs to go this entire section here needs to go into your materials section how do you find the materials section? well <laughs> what I do is I search for the end of materials and you find that in notepad plus plus create a new line go back over to notepad and you just copy all of this into the materials section Now, the third section is, and I'm just going to save the I3D. You should really save after doing each step, but I'm confident enough that I won't screw it up, that I don't. <laughs> so the final section, this is literally all of what you need to do to get soil mod working, is you need to look for the foliage sublayers. And what foliage sublayers do you need? Well, you need to look for the wheat windrow sublayer, first of all. So we go back into notepad plus plus and we just put in wheat underscore windrow and you can see it here is it is line is nice and um, highlighted for us now we need to find with this is the block shape ID now as you can see it's not currently visible on the screen and uh, so where it is just to give you an extra bonus of help it's right here at the end of the line so you just scroll over as far as you can find the end of the line and here's the block shape ID so we're gonna edit and replace windrow underscore block shape shape ID with oh dear I've lost it Wheat windrow. Do, do, do. There it is. Seven. We're replacing that with seven. And as you can see already, there's a line here that will tell us if we've done it right. Windrow block shape ID. That should change to seven. Replace all. It'll bring us back up to the top of the text file. And as you can see, it's replaced with seven. So next, you need to find the potato underscore helm. Now you can do a search, but it's all it's just further down this section. And here it is. And yet again, you need to go over find the block shape ID. This will be different on every map, by the way. So you do have to do it the entire this entire um, process with every map. It might the block shape ID might be seventy six for the potato the helm whatever that is uh, I honestly don't know but you just go and I'm gonna do my little cheaty thing and replace windrow with helm and that is 35 if I remember correctly I'm just gonna double check 
yes it is and you replace all and go back down yet again it is perfect so up here it'll tell you where to put it in so as you can see it goes in just before detail layer in the i3d so what you do is you find detail layer and there you go automatically brings it down to the correct line um, like I said this tutorial isn't all encompassing for all maps it's the easiest thing to do is you copy uh, is to um, just follow the steps don't follow the numbers <laughs> and you just copy and paste the foliage multi layers into the uh, section before detail layer if you do it after detail layer you have screwed up and you save the map one i 3 d because you're done installing soil mod don't save any changes made to the text file because you might want to use it again for another map I know I will so here's our new edited map folder so what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up bjornholmmadmap.zip with 7-zip and all we're going to do is we're going to reopen the Bjornholm mod map file here and we're just going to copy over the map folder now you can copy over everything if you really want to but the map folder is all you've edited so that's all you need to bring in to the zip file now I, as I've already said I do have um, a zip file pre-prepared in my mod folder a game preloaded on FS15 but I can guarantee 100% this will work so that is that done so now I'm gonna switch over to FS15 and unpause the game and as you can see soil mod has installed itself now I'm just gonna hop into this so I can show you it makes two differences there will be a number in the top right hand corner of your screen as you can see there it's the number one for me because day one in this game and down here you'll see a little screen saying soil pH 6.8 neutral now if you look at the log there's no errors it actually came in before the bail registry but I can I promise you there are no errors in the log if there are errors just restart the entire process you've probably made a small mistake somewhere and you're probably never gonna find it so um yeah I now have a Bjorn home map with chop straw and soil mod for some reason if I ever want to return to Bjorn home or just play play with it by myself um, and that's really all there is to installing soil mod you can do it in about five minutes I took a bit longer because I was explaining it to you but really I'm an idiot and I, I just struggle to follow instructions but if I can do it this quickly you, you can do it this quickly so uh, thank you very much for watching I hope you if you want to install soil mod I hope you do and I hope that you don't break the map because that is a possibility um, you do need to check if before I finish up you do need to check if there are any mods you have such as night growth such as um, solid manure slurry and lime mods the good MS calc mod um, some mods do conflict with soil mod if they have similar functions now soil mod what it does is it turns off your growth your plant growth it will turn that off automatically and it will calculate at midnight every night what the plant growth is it will bring it forward one step it will reduce the soil pH by one step and there is um, a readme file that tells you how much one step is reduces soil pH, soil moisture, uh, nitrogen and phosphides and, and um, potassium by one step each it also increases <coughs> in certain uh, it increases weed infestation by one step and reduces herbicide by one step now if you've got weed prevention what that does is it stops the weed weed infestation from happening in the first place and it, I think it lasts four steps um, soil pH only goes down if I recall correctly at growth stage 3 which is, is I think slightly different from what the normal growth stages are in farm sim 
but I th most of it is just making the game slightly, actually quite a bit harder for yourself because you do have to. <coughs> my apologies. You have to watch over the um, soil moisture, the soil pH, and the nutrient content of the soil, or else you'll just lose lots and lots of productivity. You'll lose a lot of yield. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Um, if you do install Soil Mod, let me know how you get on, because really, it's an easy mod to install, but a hard mod to master. <laughs> Um, there are ways you can make Solomon change how it calculates things, well, not how it calculates things, unless you're brilliant with scripts, you can do that. Uh, you can change how often it calculates. There is an XML in your save game file that you can just edit up uh, under FMC Solomon. So, if you wish it to be three days, which I do, uh, for certain reasons, um, you can. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Rainbow Dave, and uh, this has been your Farming Simulator 15 mod tutorial, I guess? I'm not sure what to call this. <laughs> In any case, stay safe, and goodbye.